الحمد لله يليق بجلال وجه ربنا وعظيم سلطان وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وصفيه وخلقه مصطفى نشهد أنه بلغ رسالة وأدى الأمان ونصح لهذه الأمة حتى كشف الله تعالى بهم ومحى به الظلم وأكمل به الدين وأتم به النعم فصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عبده ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم أما بعد All praise is due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى The cherisher, the sustainer, the founder, the controller, the planner, the preordainer of this universe And we testify that he is the only one to be worshipped and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last prophet and messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. <clears throat> we have some landmarks in our life. Very important situations or events may pass in our life that takes a lot of our interest and our concentration. If you are preparing for an important occasion, you put aside subsidiary things, retinary things, things that are not that important. <coughs> if you are preparing, for example, for your wedding, for example, you don't go to play football on that day. You don't accept any invitation to go somewhere because this is your wedding week, for example. Of preparing every, for the details, looking for the details, and uh, trying to concentrate on what you are going to do during this week. If you are called to receive a prize, you want through work, for example, and I'm going to meet the minister. You have some very kind of special dress. Okay, I'm going to meet the, the minister. I'm going to receive. A prize. If it is a little bit higher than that, we're going to be summoned by the king, for example. The king promised that five of this institute, five people, five employees, are going to be rewarded for such and such. This is totally different. If you're going to go meeting the king, or the president, or the prime minister, or whatever. You are going to leave everything behind. Because I'm going to meet a very special person. A very special person that you may not meet again. It's going to be a lifetime event. You're going to meet a person for the first time, and maybe, most probably, for the last time. And I'm going to meet the, the king every day. And whatever these people may give you, whether it is the king, or the prime minister, or the president, or the minister, or whatever, or the chairman, or is something related to this world. We're going to finish one day or the other. Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is none like unto him. Allah is the king of kings. Allah is only one of a kind. لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا He does not beget. He is not begotten. And there is none like unto him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah always, not only during this Ramadan or these 10 days of Ramadan, Allah is showering us with his own bounties every time, every second, every minute. But we are now encountering some very special 10 days, or to be precise, very special 10 nights. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr, that is the Quran that was sent down from Bayt al-Isa to Sama al-Dunya, it was during that 10 days. And when we say that Ramadan was sent down or was revelated 
that Quran was related to the Prophet وسلم, during Ramadan. We mean that. And it was said in a very special night. That is the night of decree, the night of majesty, the night of, of importance, the night of value, the night of generosity. It is Laylatul Qadr. So, this very special night and these very special ten nights in that very special month is the best of the best of the best. What should we do? You know, a lot of thing, things can, that can be said. There are a lot of things that can be said. But the most important thing I can see in this an advice to myself at first, before advising my own brothers, is to concentrate. You should concentrate. Don't lose a single second. Put aside everything. Leave all things related to this dunya, to this world. Put it aside. The bounties of Allah, the blessings of Allah are limitless. You should try to take as much as you can. Because this is something that will not perish. That reward, if you are granted to be saved from hellfire, this is a prize that you can never imagine. That means that after you pass away and finish that world, you will live in eternal happiness. Endless happiness. You will enjoy to the, to the utmost. No problems, no diseases, no, what, no troubles. What of what, whatever that may happen to you in this world. You should concentrate. Put aside everything. The first of which is that. When you go to a certain minister or ministry or embassy, embassy or whatever, they take this away from you. You switch it off because you're going to meet some foreign people inside. <coughs> These are not to be compared to, to Laylatul Qadr, never. When you're meeting the director, you are very keen to put that silent or to switch it off. Because you'll feel ashamed, it's going to ring while you are meeting that very important person. Allah is not to, com to be compared to anybody. Allah is not similar to anybody. Allah is much more superior. Our own imagination can never catch the idea of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's much, much superior and sublime beyond our own Im imagination, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So consider the peace in 10 days. And you know, you yourself can prepare a plan that fit you. Because none of us is identical with the other. Every one of us has his own fingerprint. During these nights, I can enjoy reading the Quran, for example. After getting tired of reading the Quran, you can start tasbih. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allah akbar, la hawla, la quwata illa Allah. During this Jum'ah that is today, you watch Allah, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad, all the time. All the time. No, a thousand, a thousand is not enough. Because they will multiply ten times. And they will be multiplied more than ten times because you are in Ramadan. And they will be multiplied more because you are in Jum'ah. Because these are the last 10 days. So much. Don't talk about anything that is related to, to that dunya. Never. A very small charity of whatever, even a single real, is worthless. Really so valuable. Because it's going to be multiplied to thousands and thousands and thousands. 
الله سبحانه وتعالى If you are going to give a charity من كسب طيب from a legal source a halal source فإن الله يقبلها بيمينه Allah takes it with his right hand سبحانه وتعالى ويلميها لصاحبه and invest and best her and best that 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 very small charity for that person حتى تصبح مثل مثل الجبل on the day judgment when you are there a couple of days just a couple of days in fact two mountains there mountains can you imagine a date to a mountain this is Allah yes we believe it because this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so let's say that you five reals what can they do they can do a lot to somebody who needs them some food some of your own clothes to somebody who can in a very wise way a very intelligent way that can never hurt his own feelings or her own feelings so charity is one of the doors from which that we can enter Jannah inshallah in these 10 days the easiest way is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Instead of saying that Mr. So and so went there and does this and did that, forget about all this, try to concentrate on tasbih, tahmeed, takbir, tahleel, salah. Salah is one of the important things that the Prophet used to do in Al Ashr. Aisha said that if he entered the Ashr, he should do the Mizar. He gets ready. He should do the Mizar. Put aside everything. You know, when you are going, you have that workout wear, you get ready for exercises. He should do the Mizar. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa ahya layla. Ahya layla. Spend all night praying, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Meaning that he used to, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to pray after Aisha up to Fajr. We are not going to be able to do that. Let's be frank. So do your best. Can't pray qiyam with people, then tahajjud by by late night. Between this, you can read Tasbih, you can read some Quran, you can give some kind of charity. Do anything that is going to be put into your own balance there at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And consider the idea that this may be the last of Allah. You have many friends, many kins, many colleagues. Long before was attending Ramadan last year. They're not here today. By here, I don't mean, I don't mean our own message. They're not here in this world because of, of several reasons. We are healthy, Alhamdulillah, and we can pray, we can read, we can give charity. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The strong may get, may, may get weak. The healthy may get sick. The one who is alive may, may, may die. This is a chance. A golden chance. That we are supposed to do our best to invest. Ask Allah for forgiveness. Be sure that He's going to grant you what you're asking for.